If you speak to most people outside of Russia that have never been here, they, they definitely don't think that Moscow looks the way it does. We arrived here, we look at the city and we just said, oh wow, it's not what we thought. I expected something a lot colder, a lot grayer, and a lot more miserable. This place is like, um, you know, it's like Berlin, London, Paris, but with better architecture. So at first, Art Dream came about as, as kind of um, a harebrained idea of wouldn't it be cool to bring together some of the world's top street artists on the facade of our building. We don't only want to change the face of the, of the mall, but we want to change the horizon of the city because uh, this is one of the most heavy uh, populated and uh, traffic spots in all of Moscow. It's right in the middle of Moscow. It's five minutes from the red. How valuable can be a strong piece by a strong artist in such an important place in Moscow? It, it, it took us a, a little bit of brainstorming to, to figure out who we needed kind of in the team, who, who we needed to get behind the project in order for it to happen. And that's when we got Max Cooper involved from Gumball. It's a very loose kind of concept at that stage. I'm sort of telling these, these sort of artist friends of mine, you know, I've got this friend in Russia, he's got a big shopping center and, he, and we can paint it, you know, and that's really where the conversation began. And then it kind of took on a life of its own. My work is completely influenced by graffiti culture and my experience as a graffiti writer. Because it's basically graffiti that people like. They kind of they can like, what is it? Excited? You know, some of the older generation are a little bit nervous. They think we're American graffiti writers come to destroy the city. Uh, but yeah, generally like, how can you not like it? Right now, their perception is like graffiti is tags, it's street art, it's everything, it's all together. We're trying hard to explain that this is real modern art in the most unhumble proportions. <laughs> it definitely seems like uh, Moscow is young in its awareness of uh, the potential of public art and street art and graffiti. So it's really good to see Atrium take this art form and put it on a platter and show that it's not just hoodlum, vandal, illegal art in the street, but these are some of the best artists of our time making art that's the only art form young people care about today. From what I've felt is that people here are really hungry for new creative energy and inspiration because there's a huge shift happening right now in Moscow or in Russia where um, there are certain things being allowed in that maybe weren't before. To be capable to now to do a project like that scale in Moscow, it's, it's really, really something special. And when you do something like that, now they, they, they like 20, 30 years in advance. And I think that's the beauty of it. I think it's really clever. I think five years ago we even had no idea that we could uh, change the city look in the center of, this, of Moscow just in one summer. Yeah, I'm very happy to be part of, in the beginning of change something in Moscow. All my artworks try to delay borders between uh, cultures, uh, between religions, uh, between everything, you know? between rules. It's uh, incredible how um, art change uh, lives or change uh, environments or change cities uh, just with a wall or with a sculpture. So the mural I did at Atrium is the first time I've ever done a piece that wasn't in English. And to write in Russian felt like it was more for the people here and not as much of an outside perspective using our language, it means a lot for all the Russians, and uh, they definitely respect it. The reception I've 
uh, received has really been far beyond what I ever expected. I'm proud to see so many strong artists who come to Moscow because they did a very big work to change the city and change the mind of the people in the city. I'm writing about the inspiration, about my own feelings about the cultures and how in a fusion together it can build a new future for us. I'm trying to build uh, the right uh, connection between people inside uh, of arts and outside of arts. That's uh, my big role in this project. Art should be a tool of expression, communication, empowerment for, for everyone, not just people that frequent galleries and, and museums and appreciate it in, in a um, more highbrow cultural sense. So having a piece at the atrium that's seen by thousands of people every day who now can really think about the slogan in the art and just the role of art. Art is not a mirror to reflect society, but a hammer with which to shape it. And that is my philosophy in a, in a nutshell. At the end of the day, that's, that's what art is about. It's about eliciting emotions. You can really predict what the, what the public's gonna think. And I like that, it's the best part. What I try is to, to create art that belongs to, to the present times. I really don't care if I'm in, in Tokyo, in Moscow, in Morocco or in Argentina. I, I, I talk to a generation more than a location. Uh, in this case, in Moscow, uh, we were really curious about how people were going to react um, mm. because we're doing this craziness with the background. Uh, and it was really, it yeah, was really like, surprised. Yeah. Mm. Uh, everyone was They're really accepting yeah. and they were happy. And we were like, connecting with the people. If yeah, everyone happy. is happy, we're happy. You're gonna notice this building and you're gonna notice it for the right reasons. It's turning into something that was starting to become a little outdated into something that will be timeless. It's not just a little gallery. It's not just a little uh, commercial mural. Potentially it could be one of the largest outdoor art museums in the world. I feel very comfortable myself that it happens right now. It's the right time, right place, and right people around. We're going to see the uh, the impact on the city. You know, not only kind of now because it's happening and you're just getting the reaction from the public sort of seeing this but I think it's actually going to open up the mindset of other cities across the country to kind of embrace art in a different way. Art, music, sport and that's really what Gumball is, breaks down these social barriers. It's almost like a gift to, to the citizens of the city to be able to enjoy the artwork of these artists that they've been following on social media and have dreamt of, of visiting uh, other cities in order to see their work being brought to the city. So it's a way of giving back.